Okay, guys, this is going to be a tarot reading about uh, who who's coming towards you. Okay, and I'm going to be using this deck, which is actually like my very first deck. I th yeah, that I got about 20 years ago or something, or over 20 years ago. I don't think I've ever used it though um, on camera for reading. So I'm going to use it. All right, so we're going to start off with Aries as I always do. Okay, so who is coming towards you, Aries? And I will have it timestamped also. Okay. I hope these aren't too hard to see because dark cards on the dark background here but all right so queen of cups king of pentacles and four of wands all right so we have water earth and fire here i'm just looking at the cards here for a minute So the person that's coming towards you is loving and compassionate and it looks like they have emotional intelligence and it looks like they're, uh, they have some deep psychic insights and they trust their intuition. And um, it looks like they're sensitive to the needs of others and life is maybe, uh, maybe like they've had to prioritize things like maybe they've converted challenges into, you know, like positive growing pains or something but I do it looks like they're grounded and responsible and shows a great success so either they are successful because that's what this has shown a great success so it looks like they're successful and also it looks like this person that's coming towards you looks like it's going to be plans for marriage with this person also, so it looks like this person, I don't know if that's what they're looking for because it's a like plans for marriage card. So either you will be planning for marriage with this person or this person is like looking for marriage. Okay, next up. Is coming towards you, Taurus. Okay, Taurus. Keep that in mind. Yeah, it's just cards fly out. Sometimes I take them, and then other times it's just me being sloppy, so I don't take them. Okay, Ace of Cups, Judgment, and the Hierophant. Okay. Just look at the cards here for a minute. So, there's water sign here. Uh, water also earth because Taurus kind of stands out here Capricorn a little bit also which is um, also earth so earth and water okay so this person that's coming towards you uh, Either they're looking for new new emotional experiences or you're going to have some type of new emotional experience with this person that's coming towards you. Looks like there's going to be love and, and deep friendship. If there's Also, this person looks like they have psychic abilities. And just look for like 
there might be some coincidences with this person. Like some wonderful coincidences you might notice. Okay, so I had to pause it for a second. So what I was saying is about a person that's coming towards you. Like I said, it looks like they're looking. They're, it's either going to be <clears throat> like um, it's going to be love. I just say love ship. I don't know if it's a real word, but I just, if it's not, I made it up. So it's going to be like a, a real deep friendship. It, or they're looking for a deep friendship and they're looking for l love. Or as I would say, love ship. <laughs> friendship and love ship. But it looks like they're, like I said, there's some type of emotional experiences there. <clears throat> And also, if you're not looking, you know, for something new, it could be that an emotional issue, like, will be resolved soon with this person. <clears throat> okay. Sorry about my voice. I have my tea here. I need to get it. Okay. I don't want to risk pausing it. I do that sometimes and then I accidentally hit stop. Okay. Also, this person that's coming towards you, it looks like that... I don't know if they're looking to make wise changes or they do. They're going to make some wise changes. Like this person. So maybe if they um, talk are talking to you about making changes and they sound wise and this is the person. But... um looks like they'll be able to also I don't know if it's because of meeting you or with you that looks like either you or them will be able to make a clean break from past grudges but since this is about the person you know the, a person coming towards you maybe this is you know maybe they're making clean break from past grudges and they're gonna have like this wake-up call and start making wise changes and if you know if you meet somebody that's like that if somebody new for you then that this is the person I'm talking about or if you know somebody like that, this is who I'm talking about. Also, it looks like that this person could be looking for marriage or it will lead to marriage with this person. Or maybe you are married to this person for them, for those of you that are not looking for anything new, but it looks like they're wise. This person's wise. Or maybe they're, maybe they're a wise mentor or some type of leader or something. Could be in the church. Could be maybe they're just spiritual person. I don't know. But look, it look, does look like they're kind. Like it might be a priest or a counselor or something like that. So if you meet or know, <laughs> like a counselor or something like that. But all right. Next up, I think I'm taking too much time here. Gemini. All right, Gemini. <clears throat> Who is coming towards you? Okay. So we have the Five of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. So we have Earth here, Earth signs. <clears throat> I'm about to get some more of my tea. Dang it. Okay. Just looking at the cards here for a second. I mean, Sagittarius' energy is here a little bit, which is fire, but otherwise, um, Earth, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this person that's coming towards you, I don't know if there's, um, I get, I get, there's two different, there's different stories here, different feelings. So 
for some of you this person may have just gone through a financial hardship or if you know somebody you know that's like this that I'm describing this as the person that's coming towards you but um, either like a financial hardship or maybe they're just they have worry over financial issues or fears surrounding money and um, for others of you the person that comes to you could just be that maybe they're kind of they have insecurities and it could be around money you know but maybe kind of like they're feeling left out or feeling left out of something or kind of feeling like they have nowhere left to turn or something like that so if if you know somebody like that then this is who I'm talking about if you don't person coming towards you um, might have some financial issues or at least worry financial worry but uh, but the, the it's weird because that comes up but also what comes up is good fortune so like, like the this person if you know somebody who just got an exciting career opportunity or lucrative contract like the maybe this is describing you know more so about them having the they had financial worries or there's maybe some financial hardships but it's going to lead to them getting some type of lucrative uh, contract or some type of exciting career opportunity because I do see good fortune and could it might even be a new home or a car involved here but um, it shows like a promise that a better way of life is possible so Just looking at the cards. Also, it does see, so it's showing like positive changes and a lucky break. So this person had some financial issues or worry and it's gonna lead to something, some type of good fortune for them, with their career or something. And gonna be like new house, car, this and that. Cause it's all shows like a lucky break here and a fresh new start also so this person either will be able to make a fresh new start with you or this person has just made this fresh new start all right next up okay cancer who's coming towards you cancer All right, five of pentacles, four of wands, and the four of cups. All right, so there is earth, fire, and water here. You have two fours. So the number four is about stability and foundations and leap of faith. So this person is coming towards you. They might have there might be some fear surrounding money or some type of financial hardship um, I don't know if they're going through it or if they've just gone through it but just looking at the cards it does sh it's showing that like they're satisfied though with what they've accomplished so far and they might have this newfound zest for life right now and um, looks like they're looking for marriage because plans for marriage is here so in their head like they, they're looking for marriage or you're planning to marry this person already this person's maybe it's not somebody new somebody you know maybe but I just see marriage here and also they're I don't know if they're missing the point or there's a missed opportunity or some type of distractions or insecurities that they have. Looks like they need to wake up. Looks like a little might be like stubbornness can be keeping them from the right timing of things. 
But being that the marriage court is here, maybe they've been hesitant before about marriage. It's possible. And so maybe they, there's been, I don't know, there's missed opportunities they feel. Maybe there's a missed opportunity with you before. It's possible. So it's possible that they had fears over marriage before with you and now they feel like it's been a missed opportunity and they're going to come back around. Okay. Next up. All right, Leo. Leo is next here. Six of Pentacles, Page of Wands, and Temperance. All right, so there's Earth and Fire here. And just look at the cards here for a minute. Sagittarius is here also. And Sagittarius is a fire sign, so there's more fire here. Okay. So this person looks like... Looks like this person... Is someone who likes to share with others. So it looks like they share their time or their money, their wealth. It just shows them, like sharing like they're kind and like to share looks like they're generous and sensitive to the needs of others and they, who knows they, they may have just paid off a debt also <laughs> or maybe they just got a pay raise or gonna about to get a pay raise so if you know anybody like this that I'm describing this is who's coming towards you but uh, if you don't then this just is describing them okay so also, they might be a little younger person or that maybe they just act more like active or energetic. Looks like they might have a heightened imagination or a new level of focus right now also. And looks like they're pretty artistic. Looks like they might like to travel a lot or maybe they travel for work or something. But it looks like that um, they have a lot of self-control and patience, and like they understand balance and moderation and teamwork. This person coming towards you looks great. Okay, all right. Next up, Virgo. All right, Virgo, who is coming towards you? I'm just being sloppy, I think. Unless if messages want to come out that much, maybe they do. Let's see. Virgo. Cups, King of Wands, and the Five of Wands. So there's water and fire here. And uh, Aries energy is here. A little bit here. I'm just looking at the cards here for a minute. Alright, so this person that's coming towards you... Uh, Well, it looks. Hmm. I don't know if you're going to think, like, oh, well, wishes come true with this person, or if they're going to think that about you. But 
I see happiness here. I see like good fortune, happiness. Like this person, I how do I say it? Like sensual pleasures. It's a card also sensual. So maybe there's, it looks like, a, I don't know, nice sensual pleasures with this person or something. If you know somebody like this already, then this is who I'm talking about. If you don't, look, this is what's like coming towards you. Something for you, I guess, to, I don't know, in case you, you meet somebody that's like that, then you'll know that's who I'm talking about. There's like security around this person and contentment. And it looks like they're very inspiring and motivational. They might be an entrepreneur. Looks like they have a lot of uh, creative ideas and leadership. Like they're a leader or they're in a leadership role. They might be a little controlling at times though. Maybe a little, a little rash. Also, this person, either they, they want marriage or you're already planning for marriage with this person. Because I do see plans for marriage here. And if you don't have plans for marriage, then this person is looking for marriage, looks like. And they may have found like a new, newfound zest for life right now. And it does show that they're satisfied with things that they've accomplished so far in life. Yeah, it looks like it looks like there's going to be some celebrating ahead. So celebrating something like marriage or something, I see. Okay. All right. Next up is Libra. Okay, Libra. Who is coming towards you? of wands page of cups wheel of fortune okay just look at the cards here there's fire and water here Sagittarius stands out a little bit here, too. Okay, so this person is coming towards you. Um, I don't know if they have collaborations going on, or maybe you're going to collab with this person, or being. I'm showing like partnerships and collaborations, and uh, like putting an effort. So it's possible if you know this person, they want to put in the effort and take next steps with you. Um, and for those of you, maybe, you know, you meet this person through partnerships, type collaborations, things like that. But it does show somebody, some new romantic encounters here. And somebody who's, looks like this person might be a little sensitive, a little moody. <laughs> uh, might be a little younger also. But it looks good. It looks like this person's also highly intuitive. And that they're always like seeking ways to to better themselves. I think this person trusts their feelings also. So I hope you cannot hear my stomach growling. <laughs> and also, there's gonna be there's either. With this person, either it's either going to be a positive change, a fresh new start, because I see positive changes and fresh new start and like a, a lucky break. So I don't know if this person's been given a lucky break or, you know, if there's, it's a lucky break maybe for you to have a fresh new start with this person, but it's just coming through here. Alright, I 
and you move on to the next one here. Okay, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. Who's coming towards you? All right. Ace of Cups, the Lovers, and the Four of Swords. Okay. So you have water and air here and um, more air because Gemini stands out here also. Let's see, Gemini. Which is an air sign. Okay, so this person coming towards you looks like they're looking for love and friends. That's what I'm getting. Like I'm seeing love, deep friendships. I also see bliss. So I don't know if you're going to find bliss with this person because it does look like it's going to be some type of new emotional experience. Or if it's somebody you know, it could also be that maybe you'll clear up some type of emotional issue, like an emotional issue has been resolved. But the card is emotional happiness. Mm, I don't know if this person just got a new home or maybe you're going to get a new home with this person or something like that is popping up here. But I do seem it looks like it's a love connection though for you guys. Like a strong love connection, I think. It shows to me true love with this person. So either you're already with this person or you know this person. And if you don't, this, this is who's coming towards you. It's going to be true love and deep friendship with this person. There's going to be passion and loyalty there. For a lot of you, it's going to be new. Like I say, new part. It's going to be some type of uh, new person coming in. And for others, might be with this person or know this person. So I don't know if you're going to meet them while you're on vacation. Some of you might. Or maybe you met them on vacation. But because vacation shows up. But also some type of like exhaustion. Like time, like maybe recharging batteries. I don't know if this person needs to recharge their batteries and take a little break and go on vacation. or. But that's all coming up here. It could also be if this person is recovering from something, some type of illness or something, because it's a card of recovery. Okay. All right, next up, Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, who is coming towards you? Okay, so the Hanged Man, the Nine of Cups, and the Four of Swords. So there's water and air here, and uh, let me just look at the cards here for a second. Fire is here because Leo kind of stands out a little bit also, it, it can be. Um, Again, okay, I'm just looking at the cards here. Okay. So 
sorry, I need to I have to pause this for just a second. Okay. So this person that's coming towards you, I don't know if things are at a standstill for them or if they need to see things differently, but it's coming up as in like seeing things differently or taking like a looking at things from a different point of view. Also like a like say like things at a stance or, or a temporary pause. So I don't know if you're maybe that means that you're on pause from this person. It's that's that's the very first thing I get is kind of like like things are at a standstill right now. For some of you, it's going to be you know this is who's coming towards you. But for some of you, you already know this person looks like because you're on pause with them basically. I don't know if one of you is going to start see things differently or maybe they maybe you want them to see things differently but it's just describing this other person or maybe they need rest maybe they need to take a break okay I do see um, like happiness with this person there's good fortune and like wishes come true kind of those type of feelings around this and also sensual pleasures because this nine of cups can be a card of that sensual pleasures and like enjoying things so and there's also there's security around this and contentment but I don't know this person needs to recharge the batteries it's, so we have two cards now coming out about recharging the batteries or taking a break I don't know like time to regroup um, could it also be recovery maybe this person's recovering from something um, but I do show like needing a break, like maybe wanting to go on vacation, needing a break. But rest, some type of rest is showing here. And so I hope that makes sense to you guys. All right. Okay, next up. I believe that was just Sagittarius. So Capricorn, Capricorn's next. I had to pause it and... So I'm hoping, <laughs> okay, Capricorn, sometimes you pause it and just get lost a little bit and come back, <laughs> okay. Um. All right, I don't know if I'm just being sloppy or if messages really want to come out for you. So you have the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Four of Wands. I'm just going to let the cards here for a second because you have a uh, Fire, Water, and Earth here. Okay, so this person that's coming towards you, it looks like they, they're they right now like learning a new skill or profession or maybe this person's even like going back to school to learn something, but it's about kind of like learning all you can about a subject and new opportunities. Also, I don't know if this, there's, there's, if this person has, they, it's possible they might have a little bit of addictions or, um, it's weird because this, this card here can represent like, uh, opportunities, having different opportunities with, here with the Seven of Cups. So, I don't know if this, there's different opportunities this person has or, like I said, also another meaning of the card is addictions. So, it can be both. Or maybe they're just kind of like, maybe there's a lot in their mind, a lot in their mind or something, and it's hard for them to focus. Maybe because of them learning something new or going back to school, it's possible that it's hard for them to focus because 
just doing too much. So it does look like that. It's weird because it looks like they're satisfied with things so far, like with what they've accomplished. And it's showing here like some type of plans for marriage. So it's possible that this person is looking for marriage or maybe you know somebody like this and you'll be planning marriage with them. Or you know this person and you already maybe you know this person and you want to plan on marrying this person but okay next up I gotta get to the next one here okay so next up okay Aquarius all right who's coming towards you Aquarius Wow, all pentacles, so it might be earth sign, and um, or it doesn't have to be, you know, they just that's just what comes out a little bit more here. Um, so this person that's coming towards you looks like, so you have the eight of pentacles, three of pentacles, and five of pentacles here. So this person coming towards you looks like a hard worker. Looks like they've been either they're learning all they can about a subject or they're learning something new. It's possible. Um, I'm showing like learning all they can, like they're learning all they can. Some of them, some, maybe they're going back to school for some, but learning some type of new skill or profession and looks like it's going to lead to probably like new opportunities. Because I do, looks like that they're going to be, this person's going to be recognized for their talents or their work. And they're going to be paid well for their craft, for what they do. Looks like there's a lot of creativity and skill this person has. It looks like they either they have a, a really good reputation or they're going to have a really great reputation. They might even, maybe they're in doing some collabs, even also with other person, collaboration with work or something. But it does show that they have confidence in, in their work. So it looks like even though they're going to be, it looks like recognized for the channel work, it looks like they have a little bit of, they might have a little fear surrounding money. I don't know if there's a financial hardship or if they're just insecurities a little bit over money or maybe they also have fears of, it could be either insecurities over money or like a feeling of like being left out of something. I don't know if they feel like they're being to me it's more it's not that to me it's more since this is all pentacles it's more that some type of maybe a little bit of fear surrounding money or maybe there's a little bit of a hardship for them okay next up i'm gonna go to okay pisces all right pisces who is coming towards you okay Who's coming toward Pisces? Okay, the Hermit. The Six of Wands and Page of Wands. Okay, so Virgo is here, and then we also have fire signs here. Virgo's Earth. So, let me just look at the cards here for a minute. So, the person's coming towards you. I don't know if they need a break or if they've been taking a break kind of like a 
carving out some time for themselves and like it's kind of like solitude and inner wisdom and maybe they've been doing some self-discovery maybe they're becoming more wise or doing some type of spiritual study so this person basically has been becoming more wise it sounds Looks like there's going to be some type of promotion for them or uh, or being recognized by others for their hard work. Looks like there's going to be some good news for them. That's a card of victory here. Also, they, they might be a little younger person than you or they just act uh, that way, like like more active and energetic. But it looks like that they they have this new level of focus right now, like this heightened imagination, and they're very artistic and creative. I don't know if they're going to be traveling or if they like to travel, but there's travel here, so maybe you travel to meet them. I don't know, but it's coming up. Okay, okay, you guys. And if anybody is still watching it, um, another video should be popping up uh, on the screen. You guys might want to check that out. And, um, and if you like this, if you want to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. All right, you guys. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot.